Hey, latency-free recorder is my second device that deals with how Ableton Live's recording works. But unlike Latency Fixer that deals with the issue after recording, this one solves it right in the recording stage. Let me demonstrate it. In this simple project, I have two identical tracks, and I've put a latency-heavy plugin into both. I record enable both of them, and then I enable the monitoring on one of them, then I hit record. As you can see, the one that had the monitoring enabled is late compared to the other one. That's because if you enable monitoring on a track, Live gonna apply the overall latency that occurs in your project to the recorded take. Now let's do the same thing, but now I'll use latency free recorder instead of the built in record function. I assign a keyboard shortcut to the record button. Then I select the track that was late before, and then I press the shortcut. As you can see now both takes align perfectly. That's because the device will turn off the monitoring right before recording, then when it starts it re-enables it. That creates a glitch where you can monitor the track, but the latency won't get applied to the recorded take. Additionally you have the option to choose which tracks the device operates on on all the selected and record-enabled tracks, or on all record-enabled tracks. Also, you can choose whether it should record into arrangement or session view.